Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we are going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the areas of love and relationship uh, in the month of August. As usual this is a general uh, reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're going to start with your spirit animal oracle and the card that has a message for you today is number 34 Hummingbird Spirit be here now so what does this really mean for you so if you look kind of think about it the hummingbird is very fast it can fly from one flower to the other and it, it can be kind of stand still uh, in front of one flower and uh, get the nectar out of it so what this kind of uh, card is telling you is that if you're kind of trying to find something if you are in search of something it's actually right in front of you so be in the moment enjoy the moment and um, and just focus your energy whatever is in front of you uh, maybe there's a person that you just met maybe uh, there's a relationship that you're already in or maybe uh, you're just alone so just be in the moment whatever your situation is just enjoy it enjoy the ride and and focus on uh, that whatever is in front of you but let's see what the tarot is telling us in the center of your reading you do have the beautiful energy of the queen of wands queen of wands is a court card so can be a person your energy or just the energy of the card she is somebody who is very attractive she is very desirable she can get whatever she wants she's very positive she's radiant and uh, she can get whatever she wants because she is uh, very great at using the law of attraction so she knows how to attract something whatever she wants she can get the person the kind of relationship whatever she wants and this cute little black cat is kind of indicating that she doesn't even care what other people are saying. So maybe take that into uh, consideration. The first card we have here for you is the Emperor. The Emperor uh, is a card of stability. He's very... Um, he's kind of uniting all of the kings. He is somebody who can be uh, very... Uh, influential in your life has very positive impact on your life uh, but one kind of challenging thing with him that he uh, might not be able to um, express his feelings or maybe you're the one who doesn't know how to express his, 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 your feelings uh, but this is uh, the card of stability and uh, very rigidness as well and traditional approaches so uh, maybe if you are single you might expect a stable relationship to come into your life uh, some of you are already in a stable uh, relationship but it can be also a card of control maybe somebody is trying to control something um, or just something very traditional next card uh, in your reading is the strength card the strength which is the card of being brave, the card of being strong, the card of being courageous. So this is the card that's kind of telling us that your self-confidence, your confidence, trusting yourself is very important this period of time. If you want to get something, if you want to have the relationship, a person or a type of relationship, your self-confidence is key. Some of you are making some bold movements as well bold moves when the strength comes up that might surprise other people uh, but again like it's uh, it's kind of very connected to uh, that's that's braveness maybe somebody you are dealing with a lie uh, somebody who's a lion um, and the next card we have here for you is the nine of cups which is a beautiful energy of happiness joy uh, enjoying life to the fullest and being in the moment as you can see she's just enjoying the moment and this is also a card of wish fulfillment so some of you uh, might have um, 
might have uh, uh, their wish fulfilled or some of you uh, can expect that to happen uh, to you uh, pretty soon it's kind of connected to something that you've been wishing for something that you've been manifesting now you also have here the two of swords the two of swords kind of indicating that something is bothering you something's causing you a headache and uh, this is kind of like a card of indecision or conflict where as well so if uh, for some of you it might represent itself that you might have to make a decision you might have to make a choice maybe between two people maybe you need to choose be between whether you want to be in a relationship whether you want to be single or uh, move in with each other or something that's kind of connected to a relationship uh, but you have hard time making this decision very important to listen to your inner voice your inner guidance uh, because that's going to help you to make the right decision and for some of you it can also telling this card that you actually deep down you know what is the right decision so you're just kind of holding yourself back something is holding you back but it can be also uh, connected to um conflict where you have uh, two parties uh, kind of fighting with each other and you're just kind of trying to stay in the middle as well or maybe if you and your partner are um, in some kind of uh, uh, an argument that maybe you're kind of taking a break from it but you also have here uh, the page of swords um, what kind of first comes to me that you have both on this card and the two of swords like two birds that are kind of around her head uh, so this is the card of curiosity and gossip and uh, spying as well so so for some of you need to be kind of maybe more curious or learn something but for me this what I'm kind of gathering here in that in this central um, line that uh, the page of swords can indicate gossip people are talking about you gossiping around you and maybe with this two of swords uh, energy it's kind of causing you a lot of headache but in the center of your reading you do have the queen of wands and then with that cute black cat she doesn't care about what others are saying and i think you need to kind of control that as well because some of you might have made a very daring move with this strength card with this lion energy and maybe people are kind of talking about it but it, it's actually connected to uh, your wish fulfillment something that you've been wanting something that you've been looking for and 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 you know with this hummingbird energy you have to be in that moment but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most and for you it is only costing a push of a button i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons only a very few percent um end up subscribing so i hope you're gonna be one of them and i'm always very excited to read in a comment how this reading is resonating with you but let's get back to your reading you have the six of swords continuing and which is a beautiful energy because it means that you are leaving the troubles leaving the hard time leaving the stormy weather behind and you are arriving to calm shores you are arriving to something and beautiful you're definitely going through some transition it can be physical movement as well for some of you but what's kind of important here that um, you're leaving the difficulties you're leaving the troubles you're leaving the gossip behind and you also have here the seven of wands and look how she is protecting herself from all of those attacks that are coming uh, from the outside right like she's in a bubble uh, she doesn't care she is relaxed she is uh, very balanced um, because you know she sees them coming and she knows how to handle them like, you know these outside attacks can be again gossip it can be when you need to stand up for yourself you need to protect your uh, relationship you need to protect your ideas or thoughts on relationship again but look how protected she is and she's in the moment as well right like she is in the moment um like this uh hummingbird card is telling you and you have uh, here the three of cups which is the card of happiness joy celebration um some of you may be going to some party um can be a 
engagement can be a, a, a birthday or a, a birth of a child a baptism there's definitely something here for you to celebrate maybe there's kind of a connection here with a, a person who's a, a represented by the emperor and somebody who is the has the queen of wands energy the emperor can be an older person as well for some of some of you so so maybe that's what's kind of uh, making people to talk uh the age defense um but at the bottom of the deck you do have the ace of swords ace of swords is the card of victory breakthrough clarity great conversations a new chapter in your life or a new chapter in an existing relationship something that's actually mentally very stimulating right like this is kind of like um, very connected to your brain this enlightenment uh, kind of energy when you see things clearly so i think some of you might be getting that clarity and again like i kind of getting this sense of being in that moment as well eh, with that ace of swords and it should just be in the moment enjoy it focus whatever is ahead of you and uh, and just uh, uh, turn off the outside noise whatever is kind of coming in uh, just enjoy it so i hope that this reading uh, helped you and i will be able to welcome you again